Hello, hello everyone. I have made an exciting new upgrade to my single speed and I am very excited to show it to you. Bullhorn bars. Well, technically they are pursuit bars. This is very exciting because my old bars were compact drops. They were very narrow and rather uncomfortable for a couple of reasons. First and foremost, one of the reasons that they were uncomfortable is because I am kind of long. If you follow my channel, you know that I'm pretty tall, 5'11", or 181 centimeters. One second. Oh, man. Past, past another cyclist, and I'm just absolutely mortified to vlog in public. At some point, I will be able to talk to a camera with less shame, but today is not that day, people. Today is not that day. So the compact drops, just a little bit narrow, and I'm just like kind of broad-shouldered, and I would have liked something a little bit more wide. Second is that there was no reach whatsoever. I felt a little bit cramped in my shoulders, and on rides that were longer than like, say, 15 miles, I just got a little bit uncomfortable in my upper back. Anything shorter than that was fine. Uh, but I wanted a little bit more of a longer reach. And lastly, I'm super used to using uh, another cyclist. Fuck. Also super used to using, uh, what do you call them? The brake levers, hooded brake levers. <laughs> and I wanted like having to kind of reach in the middle to, to brake was just, Sometimes I would forget and it felt a little bit dangerous at times um, to have the brake levers in a place where I wasn't quite used to it. So I decided to change to these where the brake levers are on the hoods at the end of the, bull, uh, the, end of the pursuit bars. So y'all, I am filming this on December 8th, 2022. And it is 75 degrees outside at 4 p.m. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm wearing short sleeves right now. It was just super cold. And now it's very, very warm. Almost uncomfortably warm after being that cold. <sighs> Global warming, I suppose. So what is the difference between bullhorn bars and pursuit bars? That's a very good question that I will answer after I navigate underneath this tree. Right. So what is the difference between those two? And the reality is, I actually don't know. I saw, I saw them on Amazon and one looked slightly more aesthetically pleasing than the other. And so I went with a pursuit bar. Now, do I regret my decision? That remains to be seen. <laughs> so here they are. And you can see that there's like a little dip where your hands go like that. And so I feel really tucked and a little bit more aggressive every time I ride. And I can actually feel it, I'm like leaning over more. And I actually, with each pedal stroke, feel it a lot more in my glutes than I did when I was when I was using the uh, compact drop bars. And so it's kind of more of a butt workout, which is, I guess, nice. I don't know what that means long term in terms of fit, but I'm gonna ride it for about like 100 more miles and see if I'm having any issues and go from there. I also switched the brake levers to uh, be at the end. The other two brake levers didn't actually fit right there, so that's another reason why I switched. But I much prefer the brake levers at the end of the handlebars. So one other change to these handlebars that I did was I have wax poetic about how much I love cloth bar tape. And I used the New Bombs regular cloth bar tape, not the padded kind for my other handlebars. And I got really tired of it. It was really uncomfortable in my hands. Even though I really liked the texture, I felt the vibration of the handlebar through my hands a lot more acutely than with padded bar tape. So I just chose this, I think this is Campagnolo, and it's some kind of cheap bar tape that I got off of Amazon for like $8 or something like that. And so far, it's great. So far, it's totally fine. 
one other upgrade. Okay, it's not an upgrade. I switched it out because I already had the pedals, but I chose flip-flop pedals to put on my single speed because sometimes I ride this bike to a coffee shop and I don't want to wear my ugly cycling shoes to a coffee shop in a nice, cute little outfit. So for rides like this, it's just doing like a quick 10 miles before dinner and I'll wear my ugly cycling shoes, but when I'm going somewhere, I don't really want to be caught in them. So, but I'm also just petty. Now, in conclusion, do I like these more than my compact drop bars? And the answer is, I don't know yet. I don't know. Maybe. At the very least, the handlebar tape is a little bit more comfortable. I'm going over a bunch of leaves. Don't want to slip. Anyway, at the very least, the handlebar tape is a little bit more comfortable. But yeah, I don't know yet. I'm not sure. I think they're going to take a little bit of getting used to because I really like drop bars. So we'll see. All right, y'all, that is my video on my new set of handlebars. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in and listening to every minute update that I make to all of my bikes. You guys are amazing and I will see you next week.